2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey here at the booth with Rich Beam and we're in your neck of the woods, the great state of Texas, just outside of Dallas at this fantastic municipal course called the Fox Hole Golf Links. Rich, take us through the first hole. A gentle opening hole, just 428 from the back tees. Bunker down the left-hand side, driver really not necessary. Second shot, you got to make sure you carry that bunker that's fronting the green. But in all reality, Luke, players should be looking to start off this golf course with a birdie. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Going and going and going. From about 100 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yikes! That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And it's Will Zalatoris in top spot. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Oh, that was mashed. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 150 yards. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Here's Ricky Fowler from earlier. Got to say, I did not see that shot coming. Well done. Lining up the birdie putt here. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole-in-one. Going with the hybrid. This is looking pretty good in the air. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for Birdie here. Currently at minus three for the event. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, and a great opportunity to build on that momentum. <laughs> Looks like they put a good pass on that one.
Swanee up here after a bunch of booties, Rich. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yeah, well played. And this punt will take them to five under. Ouch, that hurts. It's just about three feet away. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Playing their fifth shot. What? Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Here we are at the fifth hole of Foxhole Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 16th. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Second shot here on the fifth. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Green's in regulation. What a statistic. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Currently five under for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are at the sixth hole. <laughs> that was wonderfully done. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? sitting up here from about 160 yards chosen the pitching wedge here yeah that one's looking good uh, this player's dialed in what a shot wow was that any good good shot in there i like their chances for making birdie Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And that will move into six under par. Will Zalatoris currently in the lead as we check the rest of the standings. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. That was absolutely murdered. Now we go to the 13th where this happened just a moment ago. Oh, and check this out. From way down, down, in she goes. Oh, 
What a play. Highlight reel for sure. Let's get back to it, shall we? And he's down there. I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. This one is chewing fiber. That's well played. Pin high. This one's for Birdie. And mark it down. That's Birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, this one's right at the pin. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for Birdie. Got to like their chances from there. Look at the touch that this man possesses. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. Oh, five-footer. It's amazing how tour pros hold these. This one's looking good. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And that will take him to eight under. And that impressive young man, Will Zalatoris, currently leads this one. As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side, and if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Playing from around 240 yards. That one should find the surface. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one will run uphill. Don't be shy. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. shots back after that hole I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole
That's tidy. Playing from around 230 yards. That's a pretty handy shot. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. A spot in the top ten on the line here, if they can hold this. Was on a good line. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Three feet to go here to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Let's head out to the 16th hole. Here's Xander Shoffley. Yes! Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Wow, that was just striped. Second shot here on the 11th. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Beautiful shot. That's a good way to move into the top ten. He's in a share of ninth place. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. In the 12th hole at Fox Home Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. And there it is. Hope you're enjoying our continuing coverage. Let's head out to the 14th hole. Sitting at nine under. Oh, it's in the hole and for birdie. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. And as we take a look at the leaderboard, and there he is, Will Zalatoris, your leader. Time to face a par four now. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Not bad. Second shot here on the 13th hole. And this putt to move into a tie for third. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. And that will drop in for birdie. 
I will take that also into the top five now. He's in a share of third place. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Absolutely tattooed that one. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? Look at the shot that this player possesses. They hold it. This shot from around the 200-yard marker. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the seven. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. A putt here to move to 16 under par. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Oh, what an eagle. Great putt. He currently sits in third position. to hit a good one here at the 15th an eagle on the last hole for this player let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created chosen the pitching wedge here this one looks to be on a pretty good line oh that was so close to going in that's a great shot here at the 15th it sets up a look for birdie this putt to move into a share of second place. Oh, terrific. What an effort. After that hole, they sit in second place behind the leader, Will Zalatoris. Time to see what this par four has in store. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Opting for the six iron. Well, if it's any consolation, you'll get some high style points for that one. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Nicely hold, and for par. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey guys, we're checking in with Colin Morikawa as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, you've got to love finishing on a high note like that. An eagle on the last hole of the day. How good. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively.
Wow, Rich. That's impressive. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Step aside, everyone else. Now, number one. Will Zalatoris is coming off another birdie, which will take him to one off the pace. Starting to get a little warm out there, Luke. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Four feet to the cup. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.